Alright guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to another episode of Human Resource Machine. Last time off, we was trying to do this sorting uh, routine right here. And uh, yeah, we're halfway through kind of my thought process. So let's continue on trying to get the rest of this done, shall we? So we've dealt with if it's a zero, it's the same number. So if it's a zero... Same number. Okay. If it's a negative, then we're going to have second is higher. So if not, the first is higher. Okay, so, if the first number is higher, then all we need to do is bump the index and then jump back to here. Right, and if that is a zero, I'm going to jump all the way back down to here, because this is process out, which we'll worry about in a moment. Let's just um, run through this then. Let's see if we can work out where we're going wrong, maybe, if we are going wrong at all this time around, of course. Alright, zero. Take that. And party! So it's the same number. So we're going to bump the index there. Return. 44. So it's the first is higher. Increment the index. Move to the next. 37. Increment the index. Move to the next. Oh, wait a second. We're doing it the wrong way. We need to take the number off the floor first. Okay. Okay, so instead of copying from here, we need to copy from here. So all of these need to be swapped around. Actually, it might just be that one that needs swapping around. Let's try. Kind of working. It's um, same number. It's negative. So copy to there. Copy from here. Copy to there. Copy from here. Copy to there. Copy from zero to there. Jump back round. Copy to array index. from here increment the index copy from here okay they're in the right order so that's fine increment the index copy from here Zero. Mm. 
if it's zero. That jumped back down to here, didn't it? Check that against that. I feel like this is like this is closer than I've been. That's our base. So let's add in one greater than two, two greater than one, and one equals two. So let's um, do one less than two. So it's all there. Okay, so there are different scenarios. They're almost like our functions that we need to, or our different functions that we need to check on. So, copy from here. Subtract from here. in here. So sort start. Okay, let's come from there, come from there. So actually no, we need to do it the other way, don't we? That's what we said. So we need to copy from here, subtract from here. So 25 minus that. So if we get a negative number, then we know that the first number is greater than the second number. So that's where that one will start. So if it's zero, then we know the first number equals the second number. And if not, then we know the first number is less than the second number. So if one equals two, we want two. It's the same number, so all we need to do is increment the index and then we're going to jump back down to here, back to the start of the sort. Okay, so that's that one. That's if it's zero sorted. If it's negative, which means the first is greater than the second, I think I might need a third number here for my... Alright, let's just get rid of all this again. 
So that's where we're going to start our sort, right? Let's create another zero to there. We're going to call this one um, ceiling. Okay. So if I do this as well, and ceiling will never be reset. So just let me make sure this does what I think it's going to do. I want ceiling to be two. So I need ceiling to be two. We could do this. Probably not optimal, but... Right, okay, so now I've got my ceiling value. I have my ceiling value. So, copy from here, subtract from here. But actually, at the start of the saw, we need to compare that to that. The rate index equals ceiling. Hold on, let's just let me run through this again. Let me just try and get the bay the bare bones in because I feel like I'm like adding things in, taking things away, and I'm not really making any progress at the minute. So do the subtraction. If it's zero, then it means it's the same. If it's negative, it means that the first was higher than the second. In which case, this one, we just bump this, and then we jump back to the sort. If it's zero, you can do the same thing, right? If it's negative or zero, then... Yeah, if it's negative or zero, we just need to increment that. If it's not, though, we're going to copy from the current index. We'll copy it to here. Call this temp store. Okay. Then we're going to copy from here, copy to here, copy from here, and copy to here. Then we need to restart the loop. So yeah, well then we need to copy from here, copy to here, and here, then restart the loop. Okay, let's see what we got. Right, I can already see already we made a big, we made a mistake there. Oh, we didn't reset the... Didn't reset.
No, the negative is wrong. If it's negative, then we want to... If it's negative, we want to do all of this stuff. This one... Don't need the F0, do we? Just if it's negative. Maybe? I'm missing a jump. Ninety three minus ninety three is zero. Negative. So that number is small. Take that, copy that there, copy that to there. Take that, copy that to there. Zero. Reset. Back to the start. Nothing. Do nothing. Copy from there. So there. If it's zero. So here we're going to do end of array. So if it's zero, then we're going to increment the array index. And then we jump back into the sort. Alright, it's still not going to work. Hopefully this will get us through the string at least. Interruption. Uh, all right, so that gives us a zero. So if it's zero, okay. Uh, something gone wrong there. Something gone wrong at that point. Fifty-nine. From there, if it's zero, the end of the array, so increment that, set the index back to zero. Then jump.
Oh, my head's been fried now. I thought I was onto something. And now that I've kind of like lapsed in concentration, that little short interruption has like thrown me completely. It's my arrays, it's my array indexes which are like screwing me over. So we're back at zero. So then, what does it do? Copies from there, compares it to there. Copies from there, compares it to there. Copies from there, compares it to there. Okay. So we now know that that is right. So, if it's zero, increment the array, set that to zero, well we know that that's the smallest number, right? So maybe we need to, we almost like need to ignore zero now, don't we? Yeah, so we need to ignore that. That's where we're going wrong. So we're doing that, which is correct. And this sets that as our start, new starting point. So then we need this not to be zero. we're going to swap positions here. Start at the beginning again. 34. 78. 54. Excellent. Right. So, copy from there. Zero. That's all right. Copy from there. It's negative. So, copy from there. Swap them round. But I don't want to copy from 24. I need to copy from... The array index. That's what I need to do. Alright. So, now what I need to do, because the string is sorted, we have sorted the string. So now what I need to do is I now need to compare the index to the ceiling. So if index, so we're going to copy that to plus one, which is that. Then we need to sub from ceiling. If it's zero, then we can process the ending. If not, we need to jump back up to the beginning of the sort. I believe. If it's not, so if it's zero, copy from here, 
copy two here. And then we're going to take from here. Send it to the out box. Bump this value. Jump. But we need to also check that if we've got a negative, uh, if we've got a zero here, then we know we're at the end of the string. So we actually need to go all the way back now to the beginning. All right, let's run through it. We know the string sort itself now is sorted. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Bump the array index. Subtract from ceiling. Jump if zero. Oh, let's copy from there and do that. Alright, let's try this. Zero, copy from 24, center there, copy from there, outbox, there to outbox, there to outbox. Okay. Crazy. This will work. Because each time we move on, we do have to right recheck the whole.
Oh, you absolute pig. It didn't reset one of the values. Where does this if zero go to? I pressed the wrong button. I wanted to go backwards as well. Looks like I've got to step through this again. I'm just wondering if I need to like go back and check every item each time. I'm not checking each item. I'm only checking up to where I got to, aren't I? massively over time for this episode now but I, I really want to get it done I feel like I'm really really close I just need to debug that last step when there's only like 73 the only thing I can think is that something didn't get reset properly but why though What is happening there then? It's not picking up on the zero, is it? All right, 73. So we go to the inbox, copy it to there. Bump it, set the ceiling, go to the next. Copy it to there. If it's zero, subtract the ceiling. Copy from 24. Copy to there. So now we're on the start of the sort. Copy from there. Subtract it from itself. If it's zero, bump the index. Right, if it's zero, we're at the end of the array. It's because oh, it's it's bumping the seal the array value there. The 
that fix it? Will it break it? It's broken it big time. If it's negative or if it's zero. That's where I'm going to regret not copying my solution before making changes. Check. I really wish there like, was a way you could like adjust like the order these came out. Or you could like have like specific test cases rather than have like sit through the whole thing. I literally only want to test for this last case right here, but it's taking like so long get through this whole thing. the episode if I'm gonna cut the episode after this run anyway regardless of when we solve it because we are like up to 40 odd minutes now so I really need to um, keep this short sweet. If solve it though I might go on to just uh, have a look at the coffee room or whatever it is at the end of this. I don't believe it's another level after this. Probably gonna like look at the optimization like counts for this and be like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I can imagine it's gonna be like something ridiculous in comparison to what I've done. Almost there. Reduced by 11 commands though. Jeez. Oh my goodness. That's like, I took like over double the amount of steps for like the optimal on the speed challenge. Wow. End program. Congratulations. Congratulations. You've really become an invaluable instruction follower. Yes, don't worry. Your job is safe. We've replaced you with this electronic box. It's called a computer. 
It iterates through a list of simple instructions <laughs> called a program. It has a small amount of memory to store data while processing, like tiles on the floor. It has inputs and outputs. Its simple instructions can be used together in infinite combinations to compute just about anything you can imagine. A truly efficient worker that never sleeps. It's going to change everything. Please take your pens and enjoy whatever it is you people do out there. Congratulations. Congratulations! You're sacked. You're being replaced by a computer. Wahahaha. <laughs> what the people do outside of the office fighting the robots Skynet has awoken no ah, he's got like a not like a pistol for a gun <laughs> like a leg <laughs> it's like they're just like copy and pasting like some stuff together to make that like robot leg quite comical do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. All right, guys, well, like I said, that is the um, completion of all of, like, the main... <laughs> There's Carol in the wheelchair. The, like, the main puzzles. We're going to now crack on to the, um, like, side, uh, the optional harder ones. And then once we've done those, we'll then return back and we will start to do the um, optimizations and bits and pieces because there's... Um, it's going to be pretty hard, I think, because there's a lot of those where I've gone, like, massively over on set. The last one, I like a prime example. Like, 11 steps over and over double the amount of required steps. But, um, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you, everybody, for your comments. Keep them coming. I do enjoy reading them. We'll be back real soon with another episode of Human Resource Machine. But until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.